Okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our presentation for the Shawnee Hills Elementary School Technology Plan for the year 2013 through 2018. My name is Deja Jones, and I will be starting with the mission statement. Since the late 1980s to early 1990s, the world has experienced a mass and ongoing technological revolution from the evolution of the first cell phone to what we have now as smartphones and also from the world's first desktop computer to what we have now is iPads, laptops, PCs, and tablets. Today's generation, known as the New Millennials, have been credited with the task of ushering in a new technology revolution. These children are indeed our future and are key to establishing technological advances in medicine and science. These are our future engineers and inventors our future world leaders, and we here at Shawnee Hills want to ensure that no student of ours is left behind. We want to equip our educators with the tools necessary to help our students reach their destiny and take on the world and global issues of the 21st century. Our mission statement is Shawnee Hills Elementary School will use technology as a learning tool in its K-5 educational curriculum to provide students with a 21st century learning environment, which in turn would improve students' academic achievement, enhance the sensory motor skills and cognitive development of students, and provide technological resources that prepare students for life in college and the career world. Through the devotion of time and effort, our technology program will provide our staff and faculty with resources and development opportunities for successful implementation. A survey conducted by the National Center for Education Statistics revealed that 99% of full-time regular teachers reported that they had access to computers or the internet somewhere in their schools. However, only one-third of teachers reported being well prepared to use the technology in their classrooms and the internet for classroom instruction. Teachers are asked to adhere to the common core standards for their state and those standards technology is addressed as an expectation for students today. Some teachers are intimidated when it comes to integrating technology into their classrooms. Our team plans on creating a learning community where all types of teachers can feel comfortable and learn how to use technology in the classroom. To determine the technological needs of the faculty and students at Shawnee Hills Elementary, a needs assessment survey was administered. The survey reported that 60% of our educators rated their technology skills as basic, meaning that they use technology for the everyday tools such as email, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel which was 40 percent. 70 percent reported that they will be comfortable using technology with the proper professional development and workshop. In order to bring our school up to the standard 21st century learning model, we need to effectively implement technology to provide our faculty and students with an adequate amount of professional development to be successful. There is a definite need for technology in our school. Based on our results and feedback, majority of our staff only have basic knowledge of technology, and most of our students only use technology for social purposes. Good evening, I'm Heidi Hickman and I will be presenting on the technology planning team members and the timeline for implementation. The technology planning team consists of a district or central office administrator, principal, technology specialist, curriculum specialist, library media specialist, computer teacher, a teacher representative from each grade level, K through 5, and the district business manager. We feel this team is a diverse group of individuals and a great representation of all facets of education at Shawnee Hills Elementary. 
and this team will make decisions about the technology plan with the best interest of best interest of Shawnee Hill students and staff members. This will be a five-year technology plan that will begin in the 2013-2014 school year and will continue until the end of the 2017-2018 school year. Each goal and strategy will have different timeline implementations. For example, please reference your technology plan handout and take a look at the goal three. Goal three is beginning August 2013, teachers and staff members will be provided with continuous technology training and coaching. And there are two strategies for this goal, and um, one being that um, Shawnee Hills Elementary will provide technology training and coaching sessions on technology integration. And the timeline for this strategy is beginning school year 2013, professional development training and coaching sessions will occur each nine weeks. The second strategy for the goal, Shawnee Hills Elementary will hire additional technology coaching staff as funding is available. The timeline for this strategy it will also begin at the beginning of the 2013 school year, and this will happen as often as appropriate funds can be set aside for coaching staff. And again, each um, goal will have different timeline measures. Hello, and my name is Maggie Ward, and I am going to be talking to you about the goals, objectives, and strategies for a technology plan for Shawnee Hills Elementary School. So our first goal is going to be beginning August 2013. The Shawnee Hills students will be prepared to excel in the community, community workplace and in our global society using the 21st century skills, using technology that can be implemented into our curriculum. Some strategies to get to this goal would be our technology team is going to create a budget and a list of educational technology trends and resources that are going to be best to serve our, the needs of their students. There's also going to be a technology specialist that will meet with the grade level representative teachers as well as the principal to create an effective curriculum that fully integrates technology using multimedia tablets apps as well as social media for educational purposes. Another goal that we have would be that educational technology will be using educational technology tools such as laptops, tablets, whiteboards, internet access with Wi-Fi. This is going to be available to our students and teachers and administrators for the purpose of instructing um, our environments such as the classroom or library, media centers, and other educational settings such as community centers and libraries using those tools. A strategy to complete that goal is a technology specialist will meet with the business manager, principal, and district administrator to determine the budget as well um, the budget for laptops, tablets, whiteboards that can that are within our budget. And the technology specialist will meet with school media specialists to update the library media center. And the technology specialist will meet with school network technician to rewire the school building for Wi-Fi and to strengthen the internet signal throughout the building. And our third goal is that by beginning August 2013, teachers and staff will be provided um, technology training and coaching to in so they can effectively integrate technology in their classrooms and curriculum. A strategy that we would have for that would that Shawnee Hills Elementary will be provided the technology training and coaching using um, sessions. And the professional development will be able to take place for nine weeks and there's also additional technology funding for Shawnee Hills Elementary staff. Our, our fourth goal is that Shawnee Hills Elementary will pursue community and business partners that will um, aid in providing current technology resources, equipment, and materials 
A strategy to complete this goal would be that Shawnee Hills Elementary will pursue partnerships with local businesses and Shawnee State University so they can help us provide current technology resources for our schools. And Shawnee Hills Elementary will pursue additional funding through partnerships and grants in an effort to provide current technology resources to our school. The fifth goal for our students is that the students will be able to present their age-appropriate technology projects using the technology that has been provided and also their also projects that will be addressing the Common Core State Standards. A strategy to complete that goal would also to be, um, there'll be, students will be able to create technology projects based on their grade level and their alignment with the Common Core Standards. And the technology specialist will effectively collaborate with the grade level teacher so that they can create projects based on their age throughout the year. And each grade level at the end of the year will be able to share their projects in a school-wide showcase. The sixth goal is the Shawnee Hill Elementary School students will be assessed throughout the year informally and formally so that we can track the students' strengths and weaknesses and that it can also help the instructors, um, help teachers aid their instruction. A strategy, some three strategies that will complete this goal is the part through participation of a technology specialist and a data an analyst, teachers will be able to familiarize with a database and be able to track the growth of their students. And they're also able to effectively use the data um, to use in their school-wide unified improvement plan to improve the growth of their students throughout the year. And individual staff members will be able to use this data to create interventions or to help their students in driving their instruction. Our seventh goal is Shawnee Hill Elementary School students will be able to, at the beginning of the school term, construct age-appropriate technology projects 50% by the midterm and 100% at the school term, use the appropriate media components. Um, Shawnee Hill Elementary will be able to use um, the technology to enhance student learning, and they'll also be able to use a, a wide range of electronic resources that were available from our technology budget. And due to our last school, due to the No Child Left Behind Act of 2002, Shawnee Hill students will be able to communicate effectively through email, websites, and um, various documents through technology. Each student will master at the beginning of the term 75% and 100% at the end of the term. Shawnee Hill Elementary School students school district will be able to apply for funding using web-based interaction between schools and students. And Shawnee Hill Elementary School Districts is locating and applying for additional funding for technology to complete this goal. to the Children's Internet Protection Act, Shawnee Hills Elementary School has taken extreme measures to ensure that our students and staff are provided with a safe learning environment. These measures include placing blocks on pictures and content that are obscene, child pornography, or harmful to minors. Student online activities will be monitored and students will be prohibited from the usage of such sites, such as chat rooms and other social media outlets, unless used for class purposes. Shawnee Hills Elementary School has adopted an anti-bullying campaign and has a zero tolerance policy. This includes cyberbullying. For more information on CIPA and cyberbullying laws, please feel free to visit the following links. We thank you for your time and consideration of our technology plan, and we hope you all have a great evening. Thank you very much.